open money favorite has only failed three times. So as far as the betting indication is concerned, she has an excellent chance of winning. The rest of the runners have attracted some support, but she has stood out so much that at four to one, we have a reasonably weak second favorite, Perfect Order. This is a filly that cost 100,000 rand as a yearling. She now drifts in, drifted to 92. She certainly looked good in the parade ring. She's got Patrick McGiven up the road, have a ball to victory in uh, quite a few years ago, 1981, it was 10 years ago. At 81 Temperance, which Tony Willard has brought down from Johannesburg. I spoke to him earlier today. She came down by float on Thursday. He's very happy with the way she traveled, and he thinks she has a chance. At 81 also Elifa, who was three and a half lengths back in the Mallorca stakes a few weeks ago. She was the only three-year-old concerned in the finish. And from draw seven with Conrad Wilkinson up, certainly has a safe chance. Then a big jump at, to 12 to one, we have Eastern Venture. That is the runner of Willie Peters. She was sweating a bit in the parade. Uh, she actually opened on course at seven to one, now drifted to 12 to one. But with Gavin Haas up, who won on Sweet Chestnut, which Mike Bass trained, also 12 to one American Connection, this trained by Herman Brown Jr. Anton Marcus in the saddle, but drawn wide at 14. At 14 to one, Divine Cause. This is a filly who prefers extra, but uh, from draw 12, could have a tough time. Well, going through the betting, obviously uh, that reflects what the bookmakers, or rather the public, would uh, think at this stage, uh, Oscar. But the actual cake now, Magnificent Myth, and then say like absolute fantastic in the veteran. So it's natuurlijk ook jelle paar van die paren geklopt wat vanmiddag in die veterinaar club onder andere Eastern Venture, American Connection, Informative in Savage Shuffle. So met uh, die wetenskappe 1 tegen 1 of Magnificent Myth, a die Richmond Festival, hoort sy a uitstekende kansie om hierdie veteran te win. Did anything uh, else stand out to you as the horses went down, Oscar? Well, you know, you always have to respect Stanley Kreft when he travels a horse outside of Tiwi. He has number two, Bellano, in this race. She's drawn wide at 15, but she's a big, handsome filly and if there's one thing you can say about Stanley Kerf is you can never write him off. If he's taken tr the trouble of traveling from PE to Johannesburg or to Cape Town, you know that he thinks he's got a chance. He, uh, she has Gavin Pinter in the saddle, who's only had one ride in this race before. Well, I saw number 10 just going through there. There's number two, which is Bella Neu, that you've just spoken about from the stable of Stanley Kerf. And as you say, with Gavin Pinter up, uh, she might just have a chance to be there. Yeah, well, in fact, in, in frame now, we have a perfect order who's been ridden by Patrick McGivern. Patrick has had a lot of experience. He's one of the best jockeys in the country. He's had 12 rides in this race, six of them placed. As I say, one on Have a Ball in 1981. If you have got a horse in a race, a big race, it certainly is, is helpful to have a horse guy like him on board. We spoke earlier about uh, Terence Millard, that he is such a master with fillies. He's not here this afternoon. Well, in fact, he is here this afternoon. I saw him, but his son trains temperance and looking at the filly going down, I thought she looked exceptionally well. Yeah, she's a very racy filly, not as robust, as, as strong as the Terence Millard fillies or the Millard fillies normally are, but Terence won the race nine times, an absolutely exceptional record over 22 running, runnings of the race. This is, this is Tony's first year as a trainer, and I think he's turned the filly out well. Well, as you can see on the screen, is the pair better to go to the The absitter is ready to say hockey, and he has asked that the pair is going to go for here, the Cape Phillies Guineas, the Purity, it's a grade 1 veteran, so it's over the last draai here on uh, Milnerton, for 1600 meters, with a price of 150,000 rand, and uh, that will I maybe not do, that the baan record stands under the name of that fantastic pair, Cape Crasher, that naturally the Guineas here won on Milnerton, and this was in 1975. Geweest. Uh, looks like he's a bit fractious there, and I'm talking about Magnificent Miss there, Oscar. Well, you know, she's a, shown a lot of promise. Okay, one, two races, race seven, the meters. Cape Phillies, Guineas, the, Maturity, a great one race, 1,600 meters, run round the near best. But, um, you know, she stands out so much, even though her sire was a sprinter, her dam is by a sprinter, and her grand dam was by a sprinter. Interestingly, she is a grey filly, and grey fillies have won the race three times. She runs from draw four, which has also been successful four times, certainly necessary to be drawn in the first half of the field. Mm -hmm. The other one that looked good to me was uh, Eastern Venture. I respect Willie Peters as a conditioner, and uh, I think this horse could just have a good chance. Yeah, she was sweating a bit. I also like the look of number three, Birthday Message, trained by Ralph Rexon. Ralph definitely has a good eye for, for horses. He bought this for 50,000 rand for Ken McKenzie at the early sale. She failed last time at one or two starts before that. Not drawn too well. But, you know, any horse that can win two races in a row has above average ability. We've just seen Peter Kahneman win the previous race here at Monaghan. 
He's got uh, two horses in the race, and the one that interests me is Farah's daughter, uh, Farah's daughter. She's only had one run for actually a very good win. Yes, uh, of course it's always difficult for a horse going around the turn for the first time, but at draw eight, Glenn Hansen Board is a very relaxed rider. She'll be given every chance on the bend. Well, I think uh, the horses are now going into the starting stalls. Quite a few of them have already entered the starting stalls. Three or four to go at this stage, uh, including the favorite. Our commentator this afternoon is Jahan Malerba. John will also be calling the race on uh, the course here at Moniton, and he's our commentator this afternoon as we then go over to Johan Malerba. Informative. Pharaoh's daughter. Divine calls and happy news. The PE visitor Bellano to complete the lineup for the Cape Phillies Guinea Futurity. Bellano moves in, they're all set, ready to race at the 1600, they often racing to a perfect beginning. American Connections being pushed along on the far side to overcome a bad draw and go up and lead early. Magnificent Miss is right there with Foxy Vixen in perfect order between horses. Record style is just off the leading line, informative making progress up on the outside. They being followed by Eastern Venture racing about four lengths off them, then comes Birthday Message, Midnight Metallic along the inside. Temperance is next, about seven lengths off the leader with Pharaoh's daughter checking on the far side, dropping back towards the back of the field. Bellano racing right at the back of the field with the boy Shuffle, but they're quite compact, about eight lengths cover them. Informative has found the front as they run towards the 900. American Connection on the far side is caught wide. They being followed then by perfect order along the inside. One covered on the far side of those two. Magnificent misses three and a half off the leader with a leaper up on her outside. Eastern Venture wider out in the track and Temperance is making progress from the back of the field but racing wide on the turn. Racing back along the inside is Foxy Vixen. Then comes birthday message and happy news as they spin into the stretch. 450 meters left to the line. American Connection coming forward to join informative. Divine cause in the center is coming on strongly. Magnificent misses in behind these still three lengths off the leader. American Connection has her head in front. 300 meters left to go. Divine cause along the outside. Elif is coming on strongly between horses and Eastern Ventures running on. Temperance coming on late. is wide open. Elif with her head in front. Divine cause. Happy news wide out. Elif down the inside is fighting extra. And Elif is going to win the Phillies Guineas. Eastern Ventures second. Foxy Vixen flew for third. Very close behind that. Divine cause. Temperance in behind that one. Savoy Shuffle and Bellano. Well, that was a very interesting race, and as you can see, a bit of a cavalry charge towards the winning post. That was in funny dies in the wekkendste wedrenne so far die wedren betref hierdie vir die Marys. En daar was die hele paar van hulle wat op pad was na die wendpaal toe, hier tegen die einde van die wedren. En ek denk, een van die verre wat miskien nie in die wedenskappe was en so groot ginstelling was nie, was Ibiza gewees. Kom ons kyk na die kijkweer van hierdie wedren oor die laaste paar honderd meter. Die perre wat dan natuurlijk hardloop en daar bezig is om na die wendpaal toe te gaan, is die Liva pers nummer 8 wat kom uit die stal van Dolf Meijder, wat baie goed hardloop. Eastern Venture van Woody Peters sy stal is die ene wat drijf om daar te kom. In die saal is dit Gavin House en waarschijnlijk in die derde plek sal ons miskien as hulle by die wendpaal voorbij gaan, maar dit was die Liva gewees met Conrad Wilkinson in die saal, een massa van 55 kilogram in die siebende plek geloot en hierdie prachtige Mary by die wendpaal, sal sy die winner wees, sal ek sê met een lengte of wat van in die tweede plek Eastern Venture. Well, Oscar, looking at that Elifa, I know that there were people on the course who actually fancied her quite a lot, but a bit of a surprise there. Well, I would say a big surprise. She wasn't as capable of beating the elders at Wet Parade to the last start, but she looked very well in the parade. She ran from draw seven. That's the third winner we've had from draw number seven. Conrad Wilkinson's first win in the race, and uh, he's in fact only had one previous ride here. Second was Eastern Venture. She was sweating a bit, but you know Gavin Hart is a, has a lot of experience. He won with Sweet Chestnut a few years ago. Third, it looked like Happy News might have got there. She finished up um, 
Wel, het lijkt voor mij alsof uh, daar zien je nou die uitslag. Die winnaar van hierdie wedstrijd was beslis Pert nummer 8 geweest, Eliva. Eliva is uh, Pert drie jaar oude Mary Lancaster uit uh, Heidoen. En die is gespeeld door die Bouwmond Stoeterij. Die Pert is gereden door Conrad Wilkinson met Eliva, die winnaar. En die tweede 